Hey students, let's solve another problem with Carol. This is exercise 1.12 called Big Tower. You have to use a while loop to solve this one. Here's the uh, exercise description. You need to make a tall tower all the way to the top of tennis balls in the column that Carol is standing in. Carol can be in any column and the world can be of any height. Your solution should include more than one helper function. Carol can start facing any direction, so you need to first make sure that Carol is facing north before building the tower. And there's a hint, you may need to use multiple while loops for your program. All right, so in the start function, we're just gonna, again, break this down into its parts. The first thing we're gonna do is we want to make sure Carol is facing north. So, uh, again, looking over in Quick Docs, we can see here that there is a there is a conditional statement function called not facing north. So if we do something like this, while parentheses not facing north, opening closing parens, opening and closing curly brace, what we can do is just turn left or right, doesn't matter which one, uh, continuously until Carol is facing north. So this again is how a while loop works. This will continue to happen. The turn left will continue to happen until this is false. And since you're asking not facing north, as soon as the dog is facing north, then this will stop. So that right there will cause Carol to turn, uh, to face north eventually. Let's just run it real quick. So he turns left, turns left, and as soon as he is facing north, which he is now, he stops turning. Great, that's perfect. Okay, and that's our first step. And then our second step is to move and put a ball, or put a ball and move continuously while the dog can still move forward. So again, there is a great little function here called front is clear. And so we can do something like this. While front is clear, So as long as the front is clear, uh, put ball and move. And um, let's see how that works now. Let's run this a little faster. The dog uh, moves or turns left until it's facing north. And now as long as the front is clear, it will put a ball and move. And this is perfect. It's just what we want. This will work on any size world. Oops. However, we see that on that very last spot, the dog does not put a ball. And uh, that's because inside the loop, he puts a ball and then moves, and he doesn't put a ball after he moves that last time. So this is called the fence post problem. It was talked about in the video. Uh, when you're uh, doing something like this, you often need to come back and put that last operation there at the end after the final while loop is done. So we'll speed it up even more, run it. Dog is moving, moving, moving. And then fence post problem is solved by putting the ball the last time. Nice job. We've got it. However, if we check the code right now, we'll see everything's great except for this one last thing. It says here you need to break the problem down into more functions. Oops, that's right. Remember in the instructions it said we had to have helper functions. So what they mean is they want you to use other functions besides the start function. So we need to take this code and move it into some other functions instead of having it all in the start function. So we see that there's an obvious break. Uh, it's obviously divided into two parts, this problem. The first is uh, checking if we're facing north, and the second part is moving or building the, building the tower. So uh, why don't we do this, create a function called check north. It will just check if we're facing north. And we can take all of this code here. Let's just take it and move it down here click and drag it and move this code down inside there. And then of course, what we need to do is call that function up here, check north. And then this code here, we want to put that in another function. Let's call that build tower. And we'll take all of this code here. If you highlight it, and then click and drag and pull it down. You can pull it into this other area. And then once again, we need to call build tower. Perfect. Now we have made multiple functions 
uh, and divided our code into separate functions. Go back to the run code, run it. Perfect, perfect. Uh, the code still works perfectly and it solves the problem. If we check the code, everything's green and everything is good. So that's how to solve Big Tower in lesson 1.12 in CodeHS. Thanks for watching.